Welcome to this video demonstration of how to backup and recover your IMS databases. In today's world, anything can happen. We can do everything we can to minimize the risks, but things can still go wrong. Your data is also exposed to many risks, including hardware failure, malicious attacks, or many other problems that can lead to data corruption or loss. You can rest assured that Broadcom provides solutions to protect your IMS databases and to help you if the worst happens. Whether or not you are required by legislation or strict internal policies, it's always good practice to back up your data so that it can be quickly recovered when needed and your business is able to continue with minimal disruption. Our database management solutions for IMS provide the tools to do that. CA Database Copier enables you to make fast and accurate copies of your data. You can then use CA High Performance Recovery to recover your data and you can even choose the exact point in time to which you want to recover it. These tools provide both speed and flexibility to help you minimize your downtime and get you back up and running as quickly as possible. Both full function and HALDB databases are supported as well as their respective index databases. FastPath DEDB databases are also supported. Before you can perform any recovery, you need to have your data backed up. So let's see how to do that using CA Database Copier. Here's an example of a job to run CA Database Copier in batch mode. In the IDI Palm DD, you can specify options that are global to all executed functions in the DBOCTRL DD. In this example, the option IC alloc is set as yes, so the image copy datasets are allocated dynamically and you don't need to specify them manually in the JCL. You can also use the IC pref keyword to specify the initial qualifiers of the dynamically allocated image copy datasets. The dataset name is completed with the database name and the DD name. To use generation data group for new datasets, specify ICGDG equals yes. So let's now take a look at the output messages from this job. Here we can see that access to database H04 was authorized by DBRC. Note that to use the DBRC facility, the database must be registered with DBRC. This message confirms that the image copy dataset has been dynamically allocated with the prefix specified in IC pref. Here we can see that the IO engine uses the media manager access method to speed up the processing. This requires APF authorization, and you can quickly check the authorization status in the message ITKE601I. This message reports the number of records successfully copied. And finally, we are notified that the image copy was recorded by DBRC. You can turn this off by specifying notify equals no. Now let's take a look at another job to recover a database to the latest point in time using CA High Performance Recovery. As you can see, DBRC is set to yes. This means that you do not need to manually specify the image copy files, change accumulation files, or IMS logs, because HPR will retrieve all the required information from DBRC. Now here are the output messages from the dataset DBOMSG. Message DBOI508I confirms that change accumulation has been invoked. In most recoveries, this component is executed automatically to temporarily accumulate all required log records and speed up the recovery. The output for this component can be found in the dataset CHAMSGS. And now here are the output messages from change accumulation. Message CHA2501I indicates the log records read, kept and filtered by change accumulation. And the total number of records passed by change accumulation for recovery is reported by message CHA0913I. The output dataset DBOMSG0 includes several messages, including details of the assets used for the recovery. The image copy that is used is specified in the message HPR1503I. HPR also collects the log records from change accumulation, which is confirmed in the message DBOC204I. By using CA Database Copier to make regular backups of your data, you can ensure your ability to recover from business critical events. And with CA High Performance Recovery, you can recover your data to any point in time to minimize the impact on your business. 
For more information, go to our product page at www.ca.com. Select the Products tab and search for CA Database Management for IMS for ZOS. From there, you can access the product documentation and all of our knowledge base articles. You can also interact with our user communities and explore the CA learning paths. Thank you for watching.